today we're talking about portfolio mortgage options and uh, what clients would benefit from, like what clients would benefit from these programs. Um, first off, Paul, can you explain what a portfolio option is in regards to a home mortgage? Absolutely, Amelia. So a portfolio loan essentially is is a loan that a, a lender or a bank or a broker, they, they internally keep this loan. It's something that they draw up themselves, the guidelines, the, you know, the rules, regulations. It's not a traditional loan like a conventional or an FHA where the government determines the, you know, the debt to income ratio, the minimum credit score requirements. We essentially look at different options in the marketplace and, you know, what what, you know, clients would be best served for these programs. And we find out, okay, what would make sense for this particular, um, you know, individual? How can we get them a loan? And, and that's what portfolio is. It's a way to, you know, make everyone have a chance to get a home and, and look at different scenarios here to, to get you to the finish line. Do you have any kind of story that you could share about a situation where they maybe get denied somewhere else and they came into North Point and worked with you and they're able to secure a home? Absolutely. So let's just say our client's name is John and you know, John is uh, in the Boston market and he's looking for an investment property, let's say a three unit property. And, and John goes to his local credit union or bank, nothing against them. And all of a sudden they they try a conventional loan and they look at his tax returns and, you know, W-2s, pay stubs and say, you know what, based on the situation, unfortunately, the ratios do not work. You don't qualify for this investment property. Well, you know what? I speak to John. Hey, John, let me ask you a question here. This particular property you're interested in. And number one, how much are you putting down? Well, I'm putting down 25 percent. OK, that, that's very common. How is your credit? Oh, let's say it's, you know, high sixes. OK, so high 600 credit score. Um, you know, this property, what is it going to generate for income each month, each floor? OK, it's a three unit outside of Boston, South Shore. Um, I would say 2000 per unit conservatively. All right. So you have a three unit property, you know, 2000 per unit. You're at 6000 a month. What is your mortgage going to be with taxes and insurance included? You know, maybe 4700 OK, well, you know what? We have a program where as long as the fair market rent or the lease agreement's in place, as long as that income is more than the mortgage, you're approved, John. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Well, listen, this is a portfolio loan we have. It's called an investor cash flow. In this situation, I was able to help John and gut him into the house because it made sense to do. And that's a mm -hmm. portfolio loan kind of in, in a nutshell. Tell us about like other portfolio loans. Yeah, ab absolutely. Successful. So that's one, the investor cash flow that, you know, again, that one's based solely on rental income versus what the mortgage will be. And I probably, I probably do uh, on the average about one of those a month in this market. I would say 10 to 12 a year. I do of those at least, but there's mm -hmm. all the programs they have that are more for, you know, let's say self-employed borrowers or more for, um, let's say people who are close to retirement that have money, you know, locked up in a 401k or who knows annuities. And let's just say the asset depletion program, very, very popular portfolio loan. What we do is we look at, say, someone who's close to retirement or is retired for that matter. And let's just say they have, uh, you know, throw round numbers out here. Let's say they have a half million dollars in their 401k. They work their entire lives. They have that money. They're in their early 60s. They're looking now to buy their, you know, final home or downsize. And, you know, how are they going to qualify long term? OK, we look at their assets. We take whatever liquid assets they have. Let it be, you know, retirement, you know, checking, savings, CDs, whatever it may be. And we have a number we use. It's 84. It's seven years. 12 times 7 is 84. So we take that total amount they have in the account, divide by 84. And whatever that monthly number is, essentially that's income we can use. And in addition to what they get now for their Social Security pension. So we have a way to kind of like a hybrid loan. We can take their Social Security pension income plus their asset we could turn into cash for a, uh, you know, for income purposes. And they'll help them qualify. So that's called asset depletion. Yeah, and one other one I wanted to mention that I think is very um, beneficial, this is more for self-employed borrowers. Let's say um, it's called a bank statement loan. And we look at a 12 or 24-month history here of bank statements. So let's just say, hypothetically, you owned a, uh, you know, let's say a convenience store or a liquor store or something where, you know, a cash business. And all of a sudden, we look at your tax returns and, you know, we look at what's called Schedule C or even business returns if you're a bigger, you know, bigger company. And OK, we see X and Y dollars on paper, but we realize, you know what, maybe there's more money here that we're not recognizing. So we'll look, OK, based on your profession, let's look at your last 12 months or 24 months bank statements. Let's see how much money you deposit each month cash. And that's mm -hmm. kind of like a cash flow. And we'll look at that number. And then there's a formula we use and determine, OK, based on the profession, what percent of that is actually profit versus, you know, cost, overhead, you know, materials, uh, supplies, whatever it may be. And we can take that cash and let's say it's 10000 a month. OK. We can use 65% of that as income based on the profession. And that's another way. We'll take that now and use that in addition to what they show on paper. So there's ways we can get creative here to get loans approved. And that's called the bank statement program. 